Hello there. For you. Very thoughtful. Maybe you were not completely useless, Sheik. Speaking of useless, those blockheads won't be needing this vessel anymore. This pile of mail. You want her, Shay? She is yours. Now bring me back to my ship. Okie dokie. <laughs> Take the wheel! Um. Speed up, please. I'm not so certain about their captain, but next to me you are the most experienced sailor in the Brotherhood chain. Speed up again. We could use another vessel. Leave them this pitiful one. She's mine, ain't she? Hell, no, she. Your own pile of garbage, yes. Ah, with a lick of paint and a few new cannons, she'll look as fine as anything on the Seven Seas. Shall we begin, Captain? Indeed, mate. Ooh, firing cannons. To fire your cannons, hold LT and move. Okay. So we're gonna fight some people, are we? But she's still afloat. And her name's the Bargain. Morgan? That silly fairy queen who ruined Maryland, the wise? Oh, she's perfect for me. There you go, loot all that. And I got a fragment as well. Ah, come on, we're gonna shoot these ships. Oh, I missed. Come on, yes, got our one. Come on, do I get it? Nice. Oh, I missed that one. Do it again. All right, all right, all right, come down. Nice. Ah, uh, mate. Did I get it? I got it. Nice. Right, where's this last one over here? Got a sink. This one. Nice one. Hearty lads, Chevalier is pleased with us. Yeah, nice. That was fun. I like that. to the mentor. Wouldn't you agree? Wise words, Captain. Wise words. Assassin's Creed Rogue. Nice. Have you? Melanie LeMay, Zipper, Chipper, Uber, Cheever? 
Here, take your communicator, check it if you get lost. Now let's get out of here. Okay, I guess we're double time. We can fab stay go. This chaos is absolutely your fault, in case you're wondering. Okay. This is the same place as the previous game. Black flag. What the hell is happening? A file labeled Shake Carmack is booby trapped with some kind of virus. Your job is to prevent things like this. We need to contain these genetic memories, then we can destroy them. No, I collect them. I want to study these memories. But with respect to the CMA, this is not a request. You heard the man. Fine. I need to borrow your numbskull. That okay with you, Ms. LeMay? Hey there, this might seem a bit weird, but you're gonna work for contractors we hire to, you know, upgrade our security. Mr. Otto Berg and Ms. Violet Costa. Call me Violet. I have to go check on our people and prepare a statement for the press. Do whatever they tell you to do, okay? Go team! Technically, you're not responsible for this, but you're the one who let the virus out, so I think it's only fair now. Mr. Berg wants us to relive Shay's genetic memories. To do that, we need to access them from Helix. But the Helix is down. We'll have to reboot the main servers in the basement. Oh, huh. okay. Man, who we'll designed this virus is a genius. Not only does it restrict our access to the cloud, it's adapted to fuck up the other operating systems that regulate building functions. Melanie? The elevators are out of commission. Are we stuck on this floor? Damn, yes. I'll get a repair crew on site ASAP. There's a working area server on this floor. I guess it'll have to do for now. Agent Acosta, I want regular updates on your progress with Shay's genetic memories. Why? He's just a nobody as far as I can tell. If Shay Cormac is who I suspect he is, then this temporary setback may provide us with an unexpected reward. Proceed to the server room on this floor. Okay. Restore the server. I will do this for you, boss. Um, I don't have access three. I have this access. Okay. Any secrets? I like looking for secrets in games like this. Um, look at this. Cool. When did the uh, Assassin's Creed Rogue come? Oh, who's that? What's that? Far, Far Cry Three, is it? Hmm. Okay. See, look at that Easter eggs. Far Cry Three, right there. Shut up, I'm looking around. Right, I'm here. Yes. Okay, wrong way. That way. Uh, next ring. Done it. I'm a genius. Okay. 
Nice, Al Mualim. He looks older than 56. I've got to be honest because he's such an old man in the first game. Like, um, okay. Okay. Computer's repaired. Mm. Um. Ooh. Look at this. Digital goodie. Digital goodie. Tablet document 12. To Jean Francois Brunette. Melanie LeMay. I don't know how to say this politely, so please don't think this. Is there anything personal or a reflection of you or your work? You're a star, but I think doing an entire virtual feature about Loriano Torres is the single most boring pitch that's ever come across my desk. Sorry, Melanie. Okay. That was a secret, wasn't it? Okay. Okay, I want to have a look around first because you're not in this place too often. Here's another tablet. It's another document, I think. Yep. Oh, document one. Robert Fraser. Um, from Melanie. Hi, Robert. You come highly recommended. I'm thrilled to have you in our studio. I'm putting you to work on a special project for me. Your subject is Arno Dorian. His story takes place during the French Revolution. I want you to explore every avenue of his life that you can. The goal is to have a new blockbuster to present to the Abstego Brass next year. As such, this is super classified. Your direct supervisor will be Aidan Sinclair. Um, you can only discuss the project with Aidan or myself, as you'll probably log in some, ta some overtime in your animus. I've added a mandatory weekly meeting with our psychiatrist Dr. Bibio, to make sure you're not suffering from any bleeding effect. Welcome to Abstego Entertainment. Don't let me down. Oh. Yeah, the stuff is about you. Computer! Nice. I like these little mini games. Like. Uh, change ring, please. That one. Done. I'm a genius. Oh, Haytham Kenway. Haytham Kenway remains a controversial figure for me. I have great respect for him. After all, he was the Grand Master of the Colonial Right, charged with finding a precursor site. Haytham was cunning. But he had a streak of emotional weakness that ultimately triggered his downfall. He lost his father when he was a child, and the British Grand Master Regiment Birch raised him to become a temple knight. Nathan eventually learned that his father, Edward, had been an assassin. But he chose to stay a temple rather than follow in his father's footsteps, indicates to me that he believed he was already a mother. When Haytham discovered that Birch was the one who murdered his father, he and his sister killed him in revenge. I believe this was the beginning of his downfall. Templars kill for efficiency, not petty emotions. When he discovered that his son Connor was an assassin working against him in the colonies, the same emotional weakness stayed his blade. A pity Connor would have shown him the same person. Oh, that was interesting because in Assassin's Creed 3 they don't actually say um, how he become a Templar and I always thought in my head like but like being a, an assassin usually comes from family 
So it was interesting then to find out that his father died when he was young, so he was um, raised by Templars. That was really interesting. 